Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and Business and Personal Success Strategist at TotalGenius.net, where I help you discover your genius, which is a combination of your expertise and life experience, and build it into a profit-generating business that you love, that's based on your purpose. Today, I wanted to talk about goal achievement. Um, if you haven't been watching me, I did a three video series on getting clients, uh, transforming your passive audience into paying clients, and uh, attracting and, uh, and um, converting high quality clients. So if you missed those, you can actually go read the article, which has the three video series in it, at totalgenius.net backslash get dash clients. So today I wanted to talk about goal achievement because, um, you know, one of the goals that people have when you're an entrepreneur is to get clients. And it seems to be something that many people are challenged with. You either have it or you don't. And so I wanted to really uh, uncover what the real reason was that, um, you know, everyone talks about like GTD or um, you know, getting things done or, you know, uh, write it out or, you know, do this, do that. But they, they don't tell you um, what I believe and science proves um, is the real reason why achieving your goals is so hard. And so I'm, I'm going to um, just really break it down, but I'm going to give you some examples of um, what happens when it's hard. So, you know, I don't know if you've ever been on a diet, but, you know, that word die and then T um, is what most people feel like, is what most people feel is like being on a diet. It's, um, you know, you, you go and you starve yourself or, or you're only drinking like juice for like a month. You're, you're dying. You, um, you're craving everything. And, you know, when you are so deprived, everybody else is like, eating the yummiest chocolate cake and you see all these skinny girls that are like um, eating cookies and uh, I don't know, that was my experience when I was trying to diet. And so you're miserable and you may lose weight, but usually it comes a point where you fall off the wagon. Uh, so I, I give this example because last night I was at Whole Foods, it was really funny, and there was this guy and he was like bigger and he was telling the um, cashier that he had just lost 30 pounds. And the guy was like, oh, that's so great. You know, how'd you do it? He goes, I only ate fish and chicken. Um, I, I didn't eat anything else for 30 days. And, uh, and I lost 30 pounds. He's like, oh, that's great. And I looked down. <laughs> of course, me, I can't keep my mouth shut. They, I looked down and I saw what he was buying, which was like a gallon of um, water and two large brownies. <laughs> so I was like, wow, you just lost 30 pounds. And so is that, are you treating yourself now? I was kind of being funny. Like I wasn't trying to be mean. And, um, you know, I mean, that's what happens. And so when you, when you try to do something that, that you're miserable at, you just, you fail. Or like people who I see now, and you're trying to get clients and you know being an entrepreneur you're new to the game so you may have learned about building your online business from other online businesses and so um, you know there's a general rule you have to have an email list you have to do all these things and so you know in your mind you're thinking okay I need to have those things and when I have those things then I'm gonna be able to go and get clients and uh, sometimes, you know, people are very successful. But usually what happens is, you know, getting, cl getting clients is like a very random occurrence. You know, it's either like feast or famine. And so uh, what ends up happening to at least many of my business friends that I see is that, um, you know, you're on Facebook a lot. So one of the mandates uh, that people are teaching is that you have to go and be in Facebook groups and um, wait for, you know, somebody to post something or you post something and then you wait for people to comment on it or you comment on it and then that's how you get clients. 
So I see this happening a lot and this is being taught a lot. So, you know, multiple bad things happen when you, when you do that. Number one, you get sucked into Facebook. So you waste a lot of time and you know, you waste a lot of time and then suddenly what ends up happening is that you end up seeing a lot of people who are making money and people are doing this and wow, that's really pretty. Oh my God, why am I not doing that? Oh my God, you need to go build an email list. Oh, and this panic happens, not because it's you, but because, you know, if you listen to my other uh, videos, we have those three brains and we're ruled by our fear brain. So immediately your fight or flight brain is going, uh, panic, you don't have that, what's going on? So you may go and you try to learn more because clearly you don't know enough if you can't get clients, right? You're doing everything that everyone says and you still can't get clients. You have a large email list and you still can't get clients. And so just like the diet example that I just gave uh, and, and the whole ritual um, that people are teaching about getting clients, there's one thing in common both of those examples have and it's called uh, I'm miserable and now I'm beating myself up. So you lose your confidence. And um, then, you know, you waste time trying to learn things, doing other things, instead of the one thing that you actually need to do. And nobody teaches this. It's gonna sound really weird, but I'm gonna justify it in a second. There's something called the energy of success. And the energy of success, so if you see other people and they're like, woohoo, I just made a bunch of money, oh my God. Like that didn't just happen overnight, first of all. And so if you really wanna like break it down, if you look back at their very beginnings, you know, probably somebody um, who had more of a following uh, promoted them and they became instant, instant overnight successes or, um, they, they worked their asses off and then uh, they, they kept doing that and then suddenly they became successful. And now you're following them and you've adopted that mindset that you have to do these tactical things to get your success. And so immediately, you know, you, you've lost your confidence of who you are and what you actually do in your business. You know, you specifically as you in, an individual who has nothing to do with these other people. Um, and it's just uh, uh, the human condition that um, the more you are around other people, the more like them that you become. And, you know, while that could be a good thing, if you are trying to discover who you are in your business, that's actually a bad thing because then you become more like the people around you and you uh, aren't standing out to the people that you're meant to stand out to. On top of that, you've lost your confidence. And so all those multiple things combined, you don't have that energy of success anymore. You've lost that excitement inside of you, that one thing that is your point of difference. You know, people talk about personal brands. Personal brands is what people think about you when you've left the room. So people aren't probably thinking about you if you're not understanding what it is that you're supposed to be. And uh, if you've lost your confidence and you're following other people and you're trying to learn all this stuff um, and you're blending in, that energy of success inside of you is like panic. And the mindset is, I gotta get clients. This is gonna be a hard truth, so brace yourself. No one is going to pay you to make money. No one is gonna pay you to make money. And so if you're not doing something that helps somebody, solves an urgent problem, and um, delivers the value that they need and that you actually have, but you don't even know it anymore, uh, in such a way that they wanna tune into you, you are not gonna get clients. You could build your email list to 500,000 people you could uh, you know, have as many freebie opt-ins as, as you want. You could have the most beautiful website. If you don't have that energy inside of you, if you don't have the confidence and you don't know how you stand out, 
and you don't even have the confidence to do it, there you go. No clients, no goal achievement, no happiness. If you really want to uh, dumb down this word energy of success, and I don't think this is dumb at all, but you're not having fun in your business. This is very, um, this, I could go on about this, but I'm just going to mention it, that, you know, the whole thing is causing uh, adverse effects in your body for your health. You know, research shows, if you ever read Bruce Lipton in The Biology Belief, you know, what you believe to be true is true for you, but it also changes the way your cells express themselves. I'm not going to go into that right now, but, um, you know, it's just very negative. And number two, you know, when you can discover for yourself what, what makes you fascinating. I did a video on that. It's on my YouTube channel if you want to search fascinating on, on Shauna Yao. It's my, uh, my YouTube channel. Um, I did a whole video on it with 20 tips on how to become more fascinating. It's actually really good. <laughs> um, did you know that women have uh, spend 20 years of their life uh, with bad hair days. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so uh, that was one of the things in there. Okay, anyway, so when you can discover what makes you come alive and you understand your value, meaning how you uniquely, with your expertise and life experience, help somebody else. You know, you solve an urgent problem. So they're Googling how to solve that urgent problem. That's called, uh, and, then, and then you build a strategy around your marketing this is, that positions you as the leader that you are. Then when you apply the tactical elements like building an email list and doing all those things, then you have a goal, a measurable goal and actions so that you don't need to go and learn all this other stuff, follow other people, do the things. You understand how you connect with who I call your BBFs, your best business friends, your ideal clients. Write this on your computer on a sticky. Value equals emotional connection. People have external issues, but they buy internal solutions. So even if, you know, I'm a business strategist, so I help people build profit, profit generating businesses, but I help them discover, um, you know, your life purpose, your expertise and your life experience, you know, combined with your, the, the challenges you've overcome in your life. Because when you do that, then you suddenly validate yourself. So you don't have to go on Facebook and get likes on a post. Because you understand that every time you speak and every time you help somebody that you're meant to serve, you validate yourself. This is about not proving yourself to other people. It's about proving yourself right. That all those years of experience, that those severe challenges that you've overcome have a purpose. That's the base level of your energy of success. And then, when you can discover what fa makes you fascinating, how to become so obsessed with yourself in the service of others, you start to have fun in your business rather than trying to overlearn everything. Then, suddenly, when you apply the tactics, the things that you need to do in your business to get and and generate the, the things that you need to do for your goal, then it all works. Then your goal every day is to wake up, not to say, how can I get clients? It's how can I help people? How can I, what can I learn to help people? If you have some sort of a natural curiosity, and please tell me you do, what do you need to learn so you could go and teach? How fun is it to like challenge yourself? 
Get on live video. I don't even like video. Look, I'm speaking. And you can have so much fun. I have so much fun uh, creating graphics. I may not be, you know, I, I taught myself Photoshop, but you know, for, for 20, 28 years of my life, I have developed an eye. You know, I was a marketing director for high-end retailers and shopping centers in Los Angeles. So I developed an eye, plus I have a fashion background, you know, do, is that the number one thing why people hire me? No, but if I'm not having fun, then I'm not going to have the confidence to get up on video and be proud of, of my business. That may not be the same for you. So I'm not saying that you have to do that too, but I know what fascinates me and makes me excited. So now I just want to tell everybody. I love my new website. I built it. And I love the way I write. It may not appeal to everybody, but it appeals to me. And I love it. I think it's fun. I laugh at myself every day. Because the more that I do that, the more I stay confident and the more I don't need to follow other people. I don't need validation from other people. I don't need people to like me. In fact, I don't want people to follow me. I want, I want to build leaders who then want to go lead. We're, you're here, you have one life. And, you know, if you're not having fun in your business, then go get a job. Because having a business should be fun. Helping people should feel purposeful and meaningful. Every day you should wake up and say, you know, I made a difference. Not, did I get a client? To me, that just sounds defeating. You know, I, I used to make um, a lot of money in my job, but I spent my days or my, you know, my weekends shopping. And I have a lot of great clothes, but it certainly didn't find me my happiness when my parents died. This is about creating your quality of life and making the money you deserve and just having so much fun every day. I wake up despite my health condition, you know, it's horrific in the morning, but I'm so excited to get it over with so I can go and, and, and speak and just be, you know, have fun. I discovered, you know, um, some new things and I can't wait to teach it. That's the way your life should be. Because then, when the big challenges come your way, and they will, you'll be able to handle them better. So, there's a book, it's called um, the, the Happiness Advantage by Sean, Sean Acor. And it's about positive psychology. You know, I discovered uh, Sean Acor's TED Talk years ago, and it led me on this journey. I took a Harvard class on positive psychology. It was like a 12-week a class. Um, and in actuality, it's not just about happiness. It's about um, science. And it's about your human mind and the different things that you can use to, um, to motivate yourself and to actually scientifically um, use over and over again to keep achieving. So there's something called a success accelerant. And what it is is... You know, if you think your goal is really far, so if you know, you're making zero dollars and you're like, my goal is a million dollars by the end of this year, you are going to, uh, this success accelerant doesn't work that way. It, it actually helps you do things faster and more efficiently and, um, you know, more strategically when you think your goal is reachable, but you're like, no, I, I really can make a million dollars. I'm sorry, but your brain doesn't believe that. And so, um, you know, I teach people, you know, did a teleclass um, last year called How to Get Your Next Client. Because I, I teach people uh, in my Master Your Money Code Challenge, I, I, I taught people how to develop your magic number. Your magic number is actually uh, not the million dollars. It's actually how much you need to make every month with a slight cushion. That doesn't mean that's all you're going to make. But when you understand that your success is within reach, 
Now you can take the fear out of it and actually plan with your smart mind. So, you know, the success accelerant is a, you know, it's a proven scientific fact. So you can choose to believe it or not, but it exists. Um, and uh, so, you know, um, I, I heard someone teach this rule, you know, is this going to bring me closer or farther from my goal? When you, when you do anything, you know, you don't have to like have statistics. You don't have to have someone say, I prove it. You have to think in your head for me. Is this going to bring me closer to my goal or farther from my goal? So like for me, when I started my business, you know, I, I was new to online. I didn't, you know, I, I had a 25 years in, in a corporate world. And so I didn't really understand online business. So, you know, people had like these build your list challenges. And I was like, okay, well, you know, I guess I'll, I'll enter this. And after like day one, I unsubscribed because I'm like, okay, this is definitely not going to bring me closer to getting a client building an email list, all my focus is going to go to building an email list. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, but you know, I need to, um, uh, speak, speak so that I can get, um, people to understand what I do. So all I did, you know, at that point I didn't even speak. I didn't even do videos. I was, I was just writing for a year. I just wrote articles because that's where I was strong. So, you know, this is about understanding your value, what makes you come alive, what makes you fascinating, how you progress, you know, your magic number, all those things contribute to your success. So I'm going to give you a resource that you can use. I have a downloadable planner. It's at totalgenius.net backslash um, science dash success. It's on my website. It's, it's the science of success. It's based on science. Um, I give a whole tutorial. It's a really long article. I have a whole tutorial with steps on how you can, in 45 days, achieve your goals. And I even teach the magic number in there, the formula. And then you have a, I gave a dan downloadable planner that's based on your beliefs. So, you know, not based on someone else's success goals. It's based on your goals. And uh, I did a video a long time ago. I don't know what's in that video, but it's on there. Uh, and I have a seven-day challenge that will help teach you your internal, or, you know, help not teach you, but uncover your internal positioning. If you want to join that, um, uh, actually, I don't know the link, um, but you can access it by going to positioned.totalgenius.net. The seven day challenge is, is really awesome. And I, uh, if you do do it, I very much recommend you, you go and you do the work in my group so that I can actually help you. Uh, that would be clicking on the links in, in the emails. Um, and then I'm going to leave you with this quote, which I posted under there. And this is not word for word, but you know, this is something that I heard and, um, it's by Thich Nhat Hanh. Uh, he's a monk and like Oprah interviewed him. He's just a philosopher. And I, I heard it many years ago when I was just starting. And at that point, you know, um, I knew that I was really good at what I did. You know, how can I not be with all 25 years of experience? But, you know, I don't, I don't really know that, um, you know, I spent all my life not believing in myself. So, uh, but I heard this, this, um, this quote and it, and it just, uh, resonated with me and I thought about it and I, I, I memorized it. This was years ago. And it was, uh, when you're lost in the forest at night, um, you look for the North star. The goal is not to get to the North star. The goal is to use the North star to lead you out of the forest. So, you know, we set our big goals and then, um, with, the, um, with the way that the world is, everyone's trying to tell us to do something, do this, eat this, uh, follow me, do, do all these things. And when we don't know where we're going, you know, um, it's easy to just fall into the system. But when you do that, you end up, um, focusing on things that are outside of you. So all this like external, you know, Oh, I, now I suddenly need that, you know, 10 K a month. Wow. You know, I'm not doing that, but are you paying your bills? 
Are you happy every day? Are you doing something that feels true to you or are you just trying to make money? How do you show up every day? Because it shouldn't be a struggle for you to show up every day. And if you, um, if you, if you show up, and it feels forced, do what I did. I took 30 days off. I mean, basically, I, just, I was here, and, I, and I, was, I was on Facebook, I posted in my group, but I actually pulled away, and I called it my, my detox, because um, I was so, uh, I, I, was, I just felt very um, vanilla, and, uh, from Facebook and I can't, I, you know, I have a severe health condition. So I wake up every day and, and it's like, I'm, I have to go through severe trauma to, um, to function. And there's nothing like having to go through severe trauma every morning and then getting on Facebook and, and seeing people talk about stupid things. And then other people just crushing from, um, from not, from feeling not good enough. And then other people are like going, you know, why can't, why the fuck can't you just step up? You know, first of all, who talks to people like that? I don't care if you're trying to make money. Second of all, you know, we all have our, our own, um, stories and yours may not be a health condition, but you know, everybody has their own lives and their own problems and their own issues. And I know for me, I don't want to be dumbed down by Facebook. I don't want to be dumbed down in my business because I, I make a difference in people's lives. And so, um, you know, when you can understand that difference you make, then, then your work has meaning. Then it's, you don't feel forced to show up. You want to show up. Then when you start to feel like... Um, like, like you want to be liked or whatever, because that's a human condition. It's not you. It's just the way that we're built to want to be accepted. But then when you understand that you have a greater purpose for being here, um, it just makes every challenge, every experience that you have more meaningful. And that's the energy of success. When you can get driven by yourself, you don't need an accountability partner because you have a mission. You don't have to be teaching, you know, your purpose, but when you understand that your life has meaning and all those challenges are something that you could teach towards whatever it is that you do in your business, you will find a way to get it into the ears of the people that need to hear it. And when you stand out with your strong voice, the right people will hear you and the right people will want to pay you because they need your help. There's no getting clients, there's changing lives. And when you can show up every day as that, I call that being bulletproof. You know, you, you become your own best friend. You become the most fascinating person in the room, not because you're selfish, but because you know you are a person of value. And when you share that value, you know, you, you can change not the world, but the world around you and make it a better place. So, uh, you know, I recommend download that free planner. It's at totalgenius.net backslash science dash success. And if you missed my three videos and my whole series on um, transforming your passive audience into paying clients and, and get, attracting and getting higher quality clients, uh, that's at totalgenius.net backslash get dash clients. So uh, lastly, um, if you missed the webinar that I did on getting positioned, I, you, know, you can still sign up for the free class at positioned.totalgenius.net. And I'm sorry, I'm giving you like all these things, but come join me at the Genius Collective where uh, I can share all those links and, um, you know, we can build your success every day. I, I, I can't, I can't like, um, I don't, I don't want 
to, um, you know, buy this, do this, and, you know, in my Facebook group. And I want you to share your genius. Like, I really want, I, I want to see people, um, you know, claim your success. So anyway, um, gave you a lot of links there. If you want to rewatch this, you can. But just remember, uh, when you can become the most fascinating person in the room to yourself, that's when you can start understanding how to achieve the goals that you want to achieve. See you guys later. Bye.